Mark, thank you. And let me just say at the outset that I have seldom been in such good company. And it is I who am in the company of the immigration experts today. Uh, they know so much, and it's just a, a, ple a pleasure to be here today. Uh, let me also just say real quickly that I know of no more thoughtful analyst of immigration issues than Mark Krikorian. And uh, so I always enjoy our times and together and our visits, which uh, occur frequently, but but uh, I wish they occurred more frequently. I'm going to claim kinship uh, with Lindsay Lowell on the basis of his having been a postdoc at the University of Texas. And I'm going to confess to Jerry uh, that he accomplished uh, what I once aspired to, and that is be a Pulitzer Prize winner. Uh, I was a uh, reporter for a newspaper after college and thought I was going to be the next Pulitzer Prize winner. Then I realized it took me three times as long to write a page as everybody else around me. <laughs> and uh, what do you do when you don't know what else to do? You go to law school. And it's been downhill ever, it's been downhill ever since. So <clears throat> appreciate, like I say, the expert tease at the table. Um, I have been waiting 30 years for a president who would make enforcement of immigration laws a priority. And uh, I am pleased with what this administration has been doing. But looking back very briefly, uh, we had uh, President Bush in the middle of the 2000s, first decade, start to enforce immigration laws. Um, then we uh, went to the Obama administration, uh, during which administrative arrest plummeted 95%. And then now we have a Trump administration uh, who is sincerely and I think uh, effectively uh, starting to both uh, investigate, conduct investigations, and uh, to uh, engage in deportations as well, both sides. So it's refreshing to me to have an administration who is willing to enforce the law in a number of ways. Um, one component of worksite enforcement that I've been working on for a long time, of course, is E-Verify. And I've introduced a bill uh, just about in every Congress. We always seem to get it through the committee, oftentimes uh, pass on the floor. Uh, but that's the end of it. Uh, but we are not going to stop our efforts, because I think if we can pass E-Verify, we will have done a lot to reduce the attraction of the magnet of the easy availability of jobs. Uh, that itself will reduce the amount of illegal immigration that we uh, that we have in this country today. And by the way, every time we think we're making progress, and we are, as I say, under this administration, we need to remind ourselves that there are still hundreds of thousands of people entering our country illegally every year. We don't know who they are. We don't know where they're going. We don't know what they might do to innocent Americans. Uh, but uh, so there is still a problem that we need to address. Uh, the the E-Verify immigration reform is the most popular immigration reform according to the polls, that, has, uh, that is being considered. Uh, it enjoys 82 percent uh, approval rate by the American people. No other immigration reform comes close, although uh, several are in the 60s and 70s. So you have a popular immigration reform that will obviously be very effective, and that is, I'd say, even popular already with the number of employers who use it. We have about a third of the employers in the country who use it. Uh, we have something like 1,000 every week voluntarily signing up for it. Uh, it's doing a lot of good in a lot of ways, but we need to make sure that all employers use it, and uh, that's where we would like to get. I have no <clears throat> good explanation whatsoever for why E-Verify was not included in the Republican senator's um, immigration um, proposal that was released a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm hoping that the House will have it in their proposal, and I've talked to Chairman Bob Goodlatte, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, and he certainly supports it. I've talked to Paul Ryan, our speaker. Uh, he supports E-Verify, so I'd like to think that the House will improve on what the Senate has uh, proposed there as well. Um, it's been mentioned a couple of times. So let me uh, real quickly just go back to the 1996 law since um, it was, uh, since I, I worked on that. Uh, just let me just say how much of a delight it was to work with Al Simpson. Uh, he always made you laugh and smile, but he was also a very effective uh, legislator. And this was a bill that I introduced in the House, that he introduced in the Senate. We got across the finish line, but uh, not without um, significant um, uh, changes to our regret. Uh, the bill basically had an illegal immigration component and a legal immigration component, which was ending chi chain migration. We were trying to codify the Barbara Jordan Commission's 
recommendation. And we had the support of the Clinton administration until just a couple of weeks before we went to the floor. The very special interest groups had gotten uh, their attention, and unfortunately they capitulated, uh, as did the Attorney General. And so when we got to the House floor, we knew we were going to be hit with an amendment, as we were, uh, to strip out the legal immigration reform from the bill. That amendment, I'm sorry to say, was successful. Uh, literally, I've never seen staff weeping on the floor before, but when we lost that amendment, that's what they were doing. They knew uh, how much of a, of a loss that was. On the illegal immigration side, there were four components, and, and the four components were making it easier to deport criminal aliens. Uh, it was the beginning of the entry-exit system, which still has not been enforced, but is starting to get enforced. Uh, we had the E-Verify, uh, which we are still waiting for. And uh, it might surprise you, we also outlawed sanctuary cities. This is 19. 96, 20 years ago, and we have been waiting for presidents to enforce that ever since. So it wasn't so much that we needed new laws. We just, in the cases of almost all these provisions, simply needed to enforce uh, what had been enacted in 1996. Uh, so that's just a, a, a quick summary of uh, some of the things we've been working on. I don't think there's anything more important than a combination of worksite enforcement that would include E-Verify if we want to address the still uh, heavy um, influx of illegal immigrants coming into our country today. But again, good to be with you, and uh, thanks for including me.